It is August 22nd, 2022. I'm in Savannah, Georgia at the Armstrong University Recreational Fields and I'm collecting sawtooth oak acorns. If I can get it to focus. These are really giant and really pretty acorns and I'm collecting them because I'm going to try to make acorn flour, which I've never actually done before because I've never found enough acorns. But here's the trunk of this tree. There's four or five of them here. The fifth one in the middle there isn't doing very well. But I'm collecting as many acorns as possible. Hopefully all of them because this tree is not native to the United States or North America at all. I can't remember where it's from. It might be well, it's somewhere in Asia, but it is called the sawtooth oak because the leaves, let me pull some down, have little teeth on them. And the acorns have, well, this doesn't have to do with the name, but for identifying it, the acorns have really giant fuzzy caps that close over almost the whole acorn. And the acorns are giant. At least compared to most acorns, they're giant. Like, look at these things. That's how big those acorns are. I'm from Pennsylvania, so we don't really get acorns this big up there. There are some here in Georgia. But yeah. Here's a really big cap. And then the acorn just sits in there with the bottom poking out. Here's a leaf. You can see the pokey teeth on the ends. That's why it's called sawtooth oak. But yeah, I'm just picking them up out of the grass here. I'm gonna take these home, take them out of the shells. And I think I'm going to try the method where you boil the acorns because that seems a lot faster than doing it the cold way. And I'm really lazy so I don't feel like waiting forever. Plus I'd probably forget about it but I have this basket I bought at the Dollar Tree years ago that I've almost got filled up. Pretty heavy, I don't have a scale but yeah. The non native tree, so the normal foraging rules of leave more than you take, do not apply. So, as long as it's this sawtooth oak, you can take as many acorns as you want, since we actually do want to prevent squirrels from getting the acorns and burying them because this is a non native tree, so we don't really want it spreading into the forests where it could become invasive. I don't know if this one's actually listed as invasive yet, but there's literally no point in taking chances. So yeah. August 22nd, 2022, at the Georgia Armstrong Recreational Fields. You can probably just look that up. I think they have more of these trees over that way but most of them look dead and I haven't checked if there are any acorns over there yet so if there are I'll add another video bye bye